Bishop, uh, Honorable Chair, okay. in fact, that practice is something that you must not allow. There is no way a cabinet secretary can send a letter to you seated in the chair this morning. I am very shocked because you see, Honorable Chair, we woke up very early in the morning to come and attend this session. The question that I was supposed to put to CS Mbadi is a question that is over a year old. It has taken him less than two weeks to become a proper Kenya Kwanzaa cabinet secretary who has no respect for this house. Honorable Chair, we cannot allow this because we want to engage with these CSs. He cannot tell us, and uh, I, I have heard in this house before, uh, people saying that when Kibaki was president, if there was a matter before parliament and another one before state house, the precedent was that you come and attend to the matters in the house first. I want to tell John Badi that this is unacceptable. This is unacceptable, totally unacceptable when he has to show respect for this house. And in fact, it is worse that he was a member of parliament. If he had just been plucked from the wilderness like some of the other people I see, maybe we would excuse him. But he is a member of parliament. He has, uh, he has even finished two weeks. Honorable Chair, this is unacceptable. Respect for this house, and as of yesterday, there was already communication that he had confirmed he was going to come. Kwani, these state house meetings just spring up on people like it is a surprise party. Honorable Chair, this is unacceptable. At the very minimum, he should have written yesterday and said he was not going to be able to make it. We have also other business to attend. Honorable John Mbadi must be called to order. This is not the John Mbadi I, I knew. I don't know what they have done to him. He used to respect parliament. Sorry. Sorry, actually, I thought the, our visitors are not alone to any... I want to give our guests uh, just 10 minutes, then I, we can do house, housekeeping. I have directed that uh, our visitors here, the, the CS for Liver and Social Protection and his team, to give this house 15 minutes to interact with this communication. Yes, Majority Leader. I, I keep telling my friend uh, Sifuna that if he wants to become a good legislator, he must not conflate issues. The point that he's raising is something that all of us on this side agree with. I have been on this floor severally coming down heavily against cabinet ministers when they fail to appear before this house. But when he wants to leave it on record and say that uh, John Buddy has become a proper Kenya Kwanzaa minister who has no respect for parliament, I cannot allow him to do that, Mr. Speaker, because he's disparaging a, a cabinet, Mr. Speaker, and their ministers, while he's saying that there's a cabinet minister seated here waiting to respond to questions, Mr. Speaker. Is it in order, Mr. Speaker, for Senator Edwin Sifuna to claim that a proper Kenya Kwanzaa minister has no regard for parliament? Can he table any fact, Mr. Speaker, to, 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 uh, to support his allegations, Mr. Speaker? Because otherwise, you reduce a very valid point to a partisan debate that is useless. We had a very valid conversation that we would have had about the presence or otherwise of ministers. But now he wants to distract us with side shows, Mr. Speaker. Uh, Honorable Senators, uh, let us not be emotional on this matter. Actually, this is a matter concerning the whole House. This is a bipartisan issue. So, Senator Sifuna, maybe you can kill your record so that uh, we, can, we, we can be able to move uh, nicely, Honorable Senator Sifuna. No, no, I've asked him to, to clarify that bit so that... Uh... You don't want me to speak? <laughs> Honorable Speaker, I don't know what other evidence the majority leader would want tabled of disrespect of this house other than the letter that has been brought to you while you are seated in the chair. And the fact that he admits that we have engaged on this issue repeatedly, it is indicative of uh, a, a, a tradition within the Kenya Kwanzaa government that they disrespect this house all the time. We have dealt with this issue more than enough times, Honorable Speaker, Senator and the majority Sifuna, leader cannot gag me. 
You cannot gag me, Honorable Cheru Yot. The, the disrespect is in that letter that has been brought this morning. We I woke up here to do this job. Where is Mbadi? You can't defend Mbadi. Have your seat, Senator Sifuna. Uh, Senator Enoch. You know, Mr. Speaker, there, there are things that you are saying that, that are difficult to implement. When you say people should not be emotional about this matter, it's difficult not to be emotional about, about what we have just witnessed. It is difficult, Mr. Speaker, uh, to deal with a fact which is on record that a cabinet secretary expected to appear before a House of Parliament is writing to the speaker while the session is on to say he cannot appear. And the reason given is in state house. Mr. Speaker, I will say two things and try to be not too emotional about it. One, Article 132 of the Constitution, functions of the president. The president is accountable to parliament, the president himself, to parliament. Article 153 of the Constitution. The cabinet is accountable to parliament. The speaker, those two articles read together, place the parliament of the Republic of Kenya at such a position that when you are required to appear before either a committee of parliament or a plenary sitting of parliament, then everything else must stop. Mr. Speaker, this is just plain reading of the law. And, and, and you know, when now I see my brother, my very good friend, the Senator of Gericho, who is also the, the, the majority leader, getting emotional and saying that, that Senator Sifuna should be taught a lesson. The Speaker, I'm wondering, between Senator Sifuna and the CS for Treasury, who needs to be taught certain lessons? Mr. Speaker, Mr. Speaker, just allow me to, to finish. <laughs> Mr. Speaker, this is a serious matter. In fact, Mr. Speaker, this is so serious. And you know what? Let us test our own powers and privileges as parliament. Let us put that to test. Mr. Speaker, you can order the sergeant at arms or the inspector general of police to present the cabinet secretary for treasury here today, this morning. Mr. Speaker, you know, we cannot, we, we cannot say that parliament has been disregarded and every time that we are disregarded, then we, are, we permit those people that disregard the, the Senate to continue doing their things and doing bad manners. Lastly, Mr. Speaker, Senator Yod, you should not feel bad when uh, Senator Sifuna says, that uh, the CS Treasury is learning Karwari, bad manners. Oh, thank you. Uh, thank you, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, at the sitting of uh, the Senate Business Committee yesterday. What is your point of order regarding what is. Uh, no, I thought you, I, I, you are giving me an opportunity. No, no. To... <laughs> you are. Sorry. I thought you had concluded. You are a very experienced I, member. I, when I you, am very when sorry. When you raise a point of honor, you are standing on a point of honor. Speaker, I so thought you had concluded. A point of honor? I thought you. Conclu then then, then I'll, I'll have my time if you. Senator Ambu, I conclude. If I'm able to we, catch your eye. In less than, in less <laughs> than a speaker, minute. You know, we, we defer to Senator Alwale, honestly. Surely, I was on my feet. And you're a leader in this house. Mr. Speaker, we are saying you should actually order Masengeli to bring uh, the treasury in CS here in this house, the speaker. Lastly, I was saying, the speaker, I was saying that, you know when Senator Sifuna says that the CS treasury is, is learning bad manners and bad behavior from the Kenya Kwanzaa administration, that is a statement of fact. 
that this, this administration is very ill-mannered. That's what it is. This administration has refused many, many times to appear before this Senate. And we are saying the CS Treasury should not go and when, when, when he was donated by ODM See, now, to go and join the government as a speaker, they, they, they send him there to go and, Mr. Speaker, I'm just finishing. If you bear with me one minute, bear with me one minute, Mr. Speaker, just bear with me one minute. These, these points of order, Mr. Speaker, they don't help. But what point of order on what now? What, what is out of order now? Mr. Speaker, Mr. Speaker, just allow me to finish. Just allow me to finish, Mr. Speaker. I have one minute. Just one minute. Even. There's majority leader. You know, I was willing to allow these cheap shots to pass. But you have heard Senator Wambua repeatedly refer to me in his statement saying that I'm defending the indefensible. Yet, I pointed to Senator Sefuna that what better evidence do you need that Kenya Kwanza cabinet ministers respect this house, other than the fact that while he was making his complaint, there was a cabinet minister seated here. Therefore, you cannot generalize, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, if you can provide, if you can protect me from the hecklers, Just, I can make my point, Mr. Speaker. Honorable Senator. But what you are doing is heckling. What better way? Mr. Speaker, it is not a statement of fact what Senator Wambua and Senator Edwin Sifuna are stating, that Kenya Kwanzaa ministers do not honor summons to this house. I have demonstrated that there is one in the house this, this morning, Mr. Speaker. Therefore, Mr. Speaker, if one minister fails to appear, Mr. Speaker, if one minister fails to appear, is it a statement of fact as Senator Wambua is stating that Kenya Kwanzaa ministers do not honor summons to this house? I think this minister is... Almost every cabinet minister has come to this house more than 100 times, Mr. Speaker. You know, half the time, first of all, the minority side began by boycotting this exercise. Senator, they never used to appear. Probably that's why they don't know that ministers Senator, have been coming to this house. Senator, let us uh, make progress now. And my 15 minutes are over. Can you conclude in 30 seconds? You are 30 seconds, Senator Mboa. Mr. Speaker, I was saying, and I conclude, that when the CS Treasury was donated by ODM to Kenya Kwanzaa, I, I listened to the Azimio leader saying that they have been donated to go and teach those people how to do things. They are not supposed to go there and learn bad manners. They are supposed to go there and teach good manners, Mr. Speaker. So it should be produced here in this house. I thank, thank you, Mr. Speaker. Senator Joyce Corrie. Yeah, um, uh, thank you very much, Honorable Speaker. I, I, would also, I also want to Remember raise... Members, Honorable Majority Linda and Senator F uh, Sifuna. Yeah, uh, 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 thank you very much, Honorable Speaker. Uh, allow me to also uh, register my dissatisfaction in terms of the response by the CS, because, Honorable Speaker, the reason why we came this morning was because of the questions that we had, which are affecting the members of the public, which we were expecting the minister to respond to this morning. Honorable Speaker, I don't know whether we have the prescribed timeline when the minister is supposed to respond, whether he is, he is appearing or not, because it's so shocking that a letter is just being brought to the House during the time when the motions or when the, the questions uh, are supposed to be responded to, Honorable Speaker. So it's, it's really putting this house in a very awkward position. And I want to say that uh, we need to set as a house. Uh, I don't know whether it's, it exists, the time frame that they are supposed to respond. It's really so hurting. We came this morning expecting to get the answers. The very many uh, questions that we have are being weighted by the Kenyans. And I want to say, I am one of the persons who is dissatisfied with that letter that has been written by TCS this morning. Thank you, Honorable Speaker. Senator Fatuma Duro. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, I wish to join my colleagues in contributing to this matter. Mr. Speaker, I don't want to say much because her much has been said, but uh, this matter is not about a political party. It's about an individual member 
of cabinet who should take up their responsibilities. Mr. Speaker, I really feel frustrated because there is nothing happening in this house as far as, far as summons or invitation of this house is concerned. Mr. Speaker, we either pack and go home or we take our matter seriously because things are not actually going through the right direction. Mr. Speaker, I'm going to bring a statement on the floor of this house. We have a governor of Isiolo who has refused to appear before all the committees of the house. He has even taken a committee of the house to court, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, we have our mortuary that is not working for the last one year. And I brought a statement to the floor of this house earlier this year, Mr. Speaker. So, Mr. Speaker, we should put our acts together. Otherwise, we have no business sitting in this house. And this matter must be taken seriously, Mr. Speaker. I thank you. Senator Modigi. Asante, Mr. Speaker. E, nataka kukosoa senator wa, mumba, wa Naropi ambaye ni afiki wangu e, Mr Mbandi sio wa Kenya kwanza ni sahi tuku kwa serikali ya muungano kwa hiyo kupigia sisi kerere kusema uh, yeye ni wa Kenya kwanza hiyo ni makosa kubwa sana ya pili rafiki wangu nataka nikwambie wakati ulikuwa pitisha uh, Captain Secretary wao kuingia hapa we ulikuwa umetimua ulikuwa nje haukuwa natuunga mkono ya mwisho ningetaka kusema mheshimiwa Mbandi amefanya makosa kukuja hapa angekuja tumulize maswali kwa sababu unajua sisi kuko na ile pesa ambayo, ambayo tunalipia wa inkasi wetu pesa ya usuru anja tulipa kwa kipindi ya miezi tatu kaunti ya Embu saa hii wafanyikazi wote kaunti ya Embu hakuna pesa ametuma hapo kwa hiyo angekuja hapo hiyo ni ile swali tungeuliza na sio sio kaunti ya Embu peke yake ni kaunti ya rupa ina na sapa na wakati tulikuwa naendelea alikuwa anasema hakuna pesa saa hii angekuja tumulize swali kwa hivyo mimi naunga mkono eh, senator Mbandi aweze kuwa samoja akuja hapa ajibu maswali yake asante bwana speaker thank you uh, senator Muma Muyaka Kadri uh, thank you honorable speaker for the opportunity to speak I want to add my voice that it is not acceptable that the CS Treasury can elect to send a letter this morning. The questions we are asking the CS are questions that have been moved for over six months. We asked CS Ndongo these questions and he kept ducking them. And now the CS Mbadi takes them we expect him to come here and resolve these things. Why do we have this session if asking questions should take a year to answer? All of you are celebrating this session, indicating that it will be useful. Why do we have it when it takes a year for a CS to actually respond? In this, in this case, two is CS is running away from responsibility. I think we need to take this seriously, and it is bad manners. You can call it whatever government you want to call it. It's your government. It is bad manners. Last but not the least, Senator Murango, James. Asante sana mustaik speaker kwa kunipa inafasi kuchangia hili jambo. Ya kwaza niseme ya kwamba, tunapo kuja hapa wakati tunakuja kukutana maaziri. Tunakuanga na vitanda za kulala, tunakuanga na mali ya kuenda. Hatukuangi tumekaa tumbira kazi ya kufanya. Wakati tumekuja hapa kufanya hilo njambo. Na ukumbuke mustaik speaker kwamba jumatano zote ya kuna kamati ambao inakaa kukandidi ama kuangalia njambo lingine lolote kwa sababu tumetenga wakati muhimu kuja kunjadili maneno kama haya. Wakati waziri ya meitu wanakosa kuja, tunaweza mtetea, lakini hiyo si haki kwetu na si vizuri kwetu. Kama Senator Mondega na viongea, kama anajua pesa ya embu imechelewa kwa muda ya mezi mbili tatu, angekua, angejua leo kama ye mwenyewe anajali masirai ya watu wa embu, sio kutetea mwenye haku uja kujibu maswali. Hiyo ni kusema ya kwamba hata ya naridhika na hali hivyo katika, katika kaunzi zetu zote arubai na samba. Kwa hivyo ningesema ya kwamba, sisi pia tusiende chini kwamba sito kuwa tutu na kaa chini kama watu wana kazi. Tukita mtu na aji, tuwe na sheria ambao intakuwa inafanya, awanjibike kwa maneno ambao mefanya. Kwa munda kumekuwa na madharao ya mbunge ya seneti na wale ambao ametelio kutoka mbunge la kitaifa. Na mimi nadhani ya kwamba, 
huo ukosefu wa ndambu hautachukuliwa kupelekwa katika na mawaziri kuja kutudharau wakati tunaita kuja katika nyumba ya seneti niyo tu msaik speaker thank you thank you uh, senator murango and all those who have expressed their dissatisfaction from my seat from my 